Hi, this is Ron Johnson, and welcome to another monthly virtual seminar, an awesome way for us to connect with our audience out there, connect you guys, because this is the point where you can get the information for free, F-R-E-E, -E. who doesn't like free? I wish I could have free hamburgers all the time from McDonald's, but it doesn't work that way. So today is about spring into authentic you and self-discovery. And first time tuning in or first time watching, my name is Ronald Johnson. And what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. At the same time, also a psych positive psychology practitioner. So we can get started. Go ahead and get yourself, Gloria. Then my name is Gloria, Gloria Nail, and I am a mind your mindfulness and meditation coach. Yes, and I can't wait for meditation. Is it ready? Oh God, yes, it's it's pretty much ready for you. So are you ready? That's the I'm ready. Get, get let's get the music going. Let's get me sound. I'm ready. All right, so let's get you started here and go ahead and um, just be in a comfortable position. We can get okay. comfortable. Yeah. Nice big chair. Yes. Do it and just relax. Relax your body. Relax your energy. You know what? Do this way. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. Yes, shake everything off. Release everything. All right. So now, ready? Relax. All right, we'll get started. Okay, I now invite you to um, begin stillness into your mind. Make the choice to be willing. To be present. Willing to be at peace with your thoughts. Willing to surrender. And your thoughts may feel like they're getting louder. Just let them be. Your thoughts will always be there. You must be willing to notice them and let them go. To let your thoughts go, anchor yourself in your breath. Following the inhale and exhale. Allowing the breath to be as it is and allowing it to center you. I want you now to begin to imagine or picture a big, beautiful sky. And imagine this big, beautiful sky 
filling up the space in your mind. See your thoughts as dark gray clouds that passed through this beautiful big blue sky in your mind. Notice how the clouds move around the space in your mind and making it hard to see this big beautiful sky. Feel what it feels like to have this dark gray, gloomy sky in your mind. Continue to come back to the breath. Come back to the breath as you observe these clouds move throughout your mind. Letting the breath be easy and be simple. And just simply breathe in and breathe out. And as you keep coming back to the breath, notice what the clouds in your mind look like now. Are the clouds still dark and gray? Or are they begun to soften and separate? Notice your breath, having the ability to create more space in your mind. Notice how you feel. Maybe you're at ease, or maybe at peace, or maybe peace is flowing through you. Just simply notice. Allow your thoughts to come and go in your mind. Small clouds pass through that beautiful sky. And notice that the thoughts aren't as important anymore. Notice that these clouds continue to fade as you continue to Breathe in and out. Good. Eventually, you will see the clouds completely disappear. Your mind is clear. You'll feel relaxed. You'll feel at ease and nothing is standing in your way.
you're now confident that everything in your life is in your control and that you know you always have a choice. Continue to slowly breathe in and out. I now invite you to bring to mind your vision for life. What is it that you want to create while you're here? What is it exactly that you want in your life? Begin to imagine and picture yourself living your vision right now. Who are you being in your vision? Are you being driven, loyal, passionate? Who are you being? What one word or phrase represents who you are being as you live your true vision and purpose on this planet? Whatever that first word that comes to your mind, allow that word to represent who you get to be. Begin to breathe in this word and breathe out this word. Feel this word become ingrained in every single cell in your body. See yourself being this word in your actions. This is who you are, and this is who you will always be. See this word once more in your mind eye and releasing this word to the universe. knowing that this is ingrained in who you'll be. And begin to deepen the breath, slowly bringing in awareness into the body. Moving 
grounding now and shifting your fingers and your toes. Fluttering your eyes open when you're ready and take your time transitioning back. Remember, you always have a choice. Nice. Love it. Thank you. How do you feel? You loved it too. It feel good. I loved it. The first thing that came to mind, the first thing that came to mind, part of my affirmations right here on, on my iMac is be that storyteller. And I just lean my head back. I allow that to go into the inner universe because I want to become that storyteller. That's going to be this first thing came to mind, be a storyteller. It wasn't I'm worthy. It wasn't uh, read and meditate. It was be a storyteller. I'm going to stick to that because that's my unconscious mind said right then and there because first thing came to mind. Yep. And was that the vision that you had in mind that you visioned yourself as a storyteller? What I envisioned was traveling the world, telling my story, helping those co-create the life they want because I did the same thing too, knowing they can empower themselves because they are the cause, not the effect of life. Most people think, well, I'm the effect of this or this happened because of that, but well, you're the effect of that. Well, if you take a position, you're the cause, you can become more control of your life. And that's what people need to understand. So being the storyteller, telling my stories and letting people know they are the cause, not the effect of life. So that's, and, um, that's what I got. Just going back to being a storyteller, just so you know, you have already started that vision. Mm -hmm. You have already started that storyteller that you envision yourself that you are going to be. You already started yeah. the process. I already did. So, Our yeah. process. I, I got my so, alignment. I'm ready to go. I mean, think about it. We're, we're shooting this, this seminar. We're just telling a story. It's these are stories we tell them and changing. My vision. You already is a story. started even from the very beginning. Right. Right. And you you already started by telling your own life story. Yes. From I think my I think I titled it from Darkness Comes Light when I first joined on my YouTube channel, from Darkness Comes Light. So I mm -hmm. told a 25 minute story. Well, I mean, you can't do a whole lot of 25 minutes, but it was a story that someone can listen to and resonate with. Yeah. Love it. Love it. So let's jump into this Sounds PowerPoint. Good. Are you ready? Let's I'm ready. Hop in. I'm hopping. I'm ready. Getting all set up. Hitch Make sure I can see everybody. So here because. Mm, awesome. I love it. We, yeah, we, we talk about um, envisioning your life, your dream, whatever it was, your vision. So now we're going to self-discovery self-discovery and you know what the funny thing is self-discovery doesn't really exist the difference is do you give yourself permission to realize that you are are discovered inside you most of the time we, we seek outer things to look for okay i'm gonna discover this this must be me ah oh, darn it that didn't work out uh, this must be me no you are perfect the way you are but the thing is, I you want to step into whatever that is versus allowing outside things to come in to your, your soul or come into your universe and change everything up and make you be something you don't want to be. What do you think about that? Yeah. So today's topic is bring into the authentic you, whatever that is, and discover that you can be and create whatever ever life you want right so why spring oh well well <laughs> for those that to get into this we spring forward in time so springing <laughs> into something i mean because you know how it really works 
so I don't know why this whole idea of the first of the year. So people always say, okay, our January 1st hits, whatever year that is, I'm going to do one X, X, Y, Z. So you do four, five, 10, 15, 20 things, whatever it is. But then 90 days go by, January goes by, you're on it. February you may fall off the wagon. In March, you go down. Then by the March, it comes, okay, time is springing forward. Summertime is coming. Spring is coming. I'm going to spring forward. Easter's coming if you're religious. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to reset those goals again. So what goals I set in December that fell through, I'm going to reset them again in you know, March, April. And I did a study today when I was doing uh, positive psychology that people fail their goals 60 to 90% of the time. That's, that's huge. So it means that if, if you become that, that 30% or 40% or that 10%, man, you can do a lot of things in life. Mm-hmm. But people felt to be focused on their goals because they, they allow outside things to come in and change what their tra- trajectory is. And spring, and, and spring, spring forward. So let's move forward. Let's move forward to, to just the self-discovery. You know, the greatest, I think the greatest and most important adventure of our lives is discovering who you really are, discovering who we really are. We can we can attest to that because we've experienced this and we're still in the process. You and I are still in the process of discovering who we are. You know, finding yourself is a process that is at the root of everything we do in life. And it, it is. truly is, yes. There's one caveat though. Discovery yeah. isn't defined. Like you don't discover yourself and that's it. Doors closed. That's it. No, you can no. always rediscover new information, which discover what helps you discover a different layer, layer of yourself you didn't know really existed. And that's why it doesn't stop. Once you, no. once you, once you get that started, once you realize, or once you get something discovered about yourself and who you are, you're not going to stop. It's almost like an addiction, right? You want to keep mm-hmm. going. You want to keep going and still continue to find because now you're more curious now. Yeah, because what else is out there? What else thought you can get? Because the only time you stop discovering is when you're either six feet under or you're ashes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's one, the yeah. only yeah. two choices that I see. But either you're ashes or you're buried six feet under, they're equally the same because you can't discover anymore because you're gone. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Love it. Okay, let's hop into PowerPoint. Spring into authentic stuff. I love this. So we did the introductions, we did meditation. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Gloria, so much. So now Gloria and I will discuss how to spring into authentic you and discover what you really want and who you really are, whatever that may be. So what does it mean to be authentic? Being authentic is staying true to your own personal values, principles, and beliefs, regardless of outside pressure. You know, have you ever been in a situation where you want to do something and someone's like, ah, well, I, no, you don't do it this way, do it this way. You're like, okay, you just kind of go along with it. And you say, okay, but you really just want to do something else, but you just, you don't want to be the one that sticks out like a sore thumb. So you kind of go along with the crowd. Or, you know, I was listening to a podcast today on uh, positive psychology. And a lot of times our parents, think they tell us by telling us what to do or what's wrong. Let's say, for example, we're taught in life to always find what's wrong. So what's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with the world? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? We're never taught one thing. What's right? What's right with you? What's right with the, what's right with your life? What's right? What's going on? We allow all these wrong things to come in and we're trying to decipher because you can always find something wrong. Right now, I can look in the camera and see something wrong with my office as a fix. Okay, what's right with it? So that's the idea, what's right, find things that are right. Yeah. Second caveat to life is that we all live by principles and values. We'll give you an exact example of principle and value. So my principle in life or value to me is work ethic. So when I, I couldn't figure out why up until recently when I had my full-time career like five years ago, why I wasn't working out. It's like trying to stick a square peg into a round hole. What I figured out was that I was mismatched with what my values were. While I value hard work, the company gave a damn. Now it's mismatched my values. So that's why I was never working out. I've been, I've been in a relationship with somebody and real, it's not working out. It seems we match on all these different outside things, be it education, finances, car, whatever. 
but it's not working out because one of your values is mismatched. You know, um, also is that sometimes, or many of us, we walk around either not really knowing or maybe listening to our, like the inner critic that gives us the wrong ideas about ourselves. So that's what you talk about, like what's right and how about positive about us. We're not taught about that. We're not taught about this. And that's, that's what happens to us is we listen sometimes to what is being said about us and what we think what we think about us that may not be positive mm. that we are our own biggest critic there's one thing i learned years ago wish you were different will only create suffering so how we always have the inner critic or inner voice the inner critic inner voice is comparing some visual thing via social media be it what a friend has that you want, be it the car you saw on the road, all these wants are created. And we wish we had those because we had those desires, whatever they are. We think, well, if I had that, I should be a little bit closer to happiness. Yeah. If I had just that better job, I'd be a little bit close to, to finding really true happiness or I'd get promoted, whatever it may be. But really happiness has come from within not outside things they because i mean you could find you buy a new car tomorrow you go driving down the road brand new car you find another car that probably has a better color or a fast or a new model you buy a cell phone today six months later a new cell phone comes out how much can you keep up which sucks <laughs> even i can't <laughs> keep, keep up. up i can't keep up sometimes you know but that's what happens is a lot of people they live life through the outside world Mm -hmm. what they see outside and what they think they want but they never really look deep down inside of what it, what is it do I want and who am I some of the things that we do sometimes you know even even growing up because we're so we, we were so just like being outside and looking at outside and trying to live our life of how other people lives and we look at that and if that's not even at sometimes, but that's how we see it, you know, I'm like, oh, I want a really nice sporty car. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I see people driving it, but is that me? It's not me. It's not what I really wanted. I just liked it because, you know, maybe because people are driving it. Yeah. That's what happens. Better yet, whatever you desire, always ask yourself a very important question. How would that serve me? Yeah. If you can't find more than 15 things or maybe five things to serve you, then I mean, it really serve you. It may serve you for a meantime, right? But it's really serve you mm -hmm. long term. Life is long, not short. Right. So when we live for others, not for us, right? It's hard to find space to tend to ourselves mm -hmm. because we're living for others, what we see out there. Yeah. That's so true. Oops, next one. Right. Well, I think I went too, too far. No, I went to write one. Spring to self-discovery. Now, what does that really mean? What do I need to discover about myself? I don't already know. I, it's a lot. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can say that it's a lot. I still need to discover. I haven't discovered everything. And, and obviously, once you discover new information or new knowledge, you go to a deeper level of yourself. So it's always a self-discovery. It's, it's continuous. It never stops. Now, it can stop if you wanted to. Test when you can stop. You can say this was in my life, and that's completely fine. I, I take the Matrix example. Those that see Matrix, it's those that still want to stay plugged in. They'll stay plugged in. There's nothing wrong with that. And those that want to wake up, wake up. And that makes life really, really wonderful. Is once you wake up because you realize I'm something different. But I also create space for those that do not want to wake up, and it's completely fine. So yeah. Start by visualizing your ideal self. What does that look like? But it could be lose 20 pounds. It can be be, have, be a millionaire. It can be grab a new car. It can be get married. It can be find love in my life. It can be have kids. It can be travel. It can be a laundry list of different things. But do you ever sit there and visualize what you actually want of your ideal self? Like picture it. Don't just say, ah, it's a thought. A thought is not a picture. A picture is always worth a thousand words. So if you picture yourself doing whatever you think it is, 
it becomes a thousand words to the process of getting there. You start the journey to get there. Right. So picture yourself what you like to do, not what others like to do or what you see outside. So without a clear idea of the things that matter to you or the person you hope to become, then you will continue living for other people instead of yourself. Wow. That is so true. You got to live for yourself. I'd say you got to live for yourself. Put that mask on first. Then you can help somebody else out like say an airplane. Mm Mm-hmm explore your passions now passion can be a lot of different things yeah passion can be watching football game passion can be for sports passion can be for swimming hiking running jogging going to the gym and the reason why you want these passions is that for a lot of people it gets that especially physical passion like like me physically working out gives me a lot of energy so i'm in the gym and woo, i feel so good but what are you passionate about what do you get that positivity right because to work out in the gym or you go hiking and maybe an eight-hour hike or a two-day hike, whatever it is, that energy only lasts a minute time space. And but you got to go back and find out where it is. But explore what you're happy about. Explore, you know, what ask how about ask this question to yourself? What excites you and brings joy to your life? You know, that mm-hmm. could be that's how you can um, discover what you're passionate about. Because something that you're passionate about will help, it, what it is, is like it helps you um, give give your life purpose and give life more meaningful for you. You know, for me, it was, um, I, it doesn't matter how old I am, whether or not I've had so many injuries, volleyball will always be a passion. It's my go-to. It's an outlet. Like going to the gym is an outlet for me. I miss a day or two days of go- not going to the gym. I don't feel good. This is for right makes me a little sad well it makes my body <laughs> a little sad but I know that that's working out is a passion for me playing volleyball is a passion for me yeah and try new things what is something that you always want to do the thing I learned something that came to me more information came to me again is when you say try new things I want you to consider what minimum standard have you set in your life there's something in your life right now you just have tolerated and the reason why I tolerated that is because you think you deserve that. By exploring new things, you're telling whatever you're doing in your life, I no longer tolerate that. It could be booking a first class ticket for the first time in your life. Going on a vacation that you always been dreamed about. It can be hiking around Everest. It can be, I'm gonna go feed the homeless. It can be starting a Facebook group. Try something new that really not only gives you energy, but also help somebody else out. So if you want to feed the homeless, start a Facebook group because that also not only helps somebody else out, returns the same energy back to you. Try something just, new. Yeah, do do something new and just totally different, totally different from what you're doing, right? Because again, you won't know what you enjoy until you give it a shot, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Evaluate your skills. I, I, I had to think about this one for a second. Shooting these virtual seminars or doing my doing our podcast or uh, now I'm doing voiceovers on uh, audio on LinkedIn and all this stuff. Can you believe that I was a guy shy to be on camera? Like, I never thought I could be, I mean, first of all, you got to start somewhere, but I never thought I could actually yeah. develop passion for that. I mean, just recently I set a goal of shooting 30 videos in 30 days. So I was going to shoot one video a day for 30 days. And I did that. Now I'm going to almost two months shooting videos every day and create consistent. Now it's consistent. Mm-hmm. So evaluate what you're good at. Try something that you've never done before. You just never know how great you can be. Right. No one will ever believe you that you <laughs> you were once shy to be in front of the camera no and shooting that video. Me. No, because now if you watch those videos, you had so much confidence in making them and in doing them, talking in front of the camera. So you tell anybody that you were once shy or just didn't want to be in front of the no camera, way. no one would ever believe that. You know, and you don't ever believe it. Yeah. It, and the that, funny that thing that about it, is, it is, yeah, go ahead. As I say, the funny thing about it is it's me and a camera. There's no cameraman. It's just <laughs> me and the camera. Else, yeah. yeah. And that what that is also is just getting out of your comfort zone, right? Mm-hmm. Get out of your com- comfort zone. You'll never really know. And now you're enjoying it. You're loving it. And I found a new skill. I didn't even know. 
Yeah. So you just might have to consider, maybe consider taking some time to, um, to consider your, your, whatever unique abilities that you have and how to use them, how you might use them. Because you'll never know. So true. And ask yourself curiosity questions. So curiosity questions are like this. For what purpose or what's my intention? So if I say I'm going to shoot videos, for what purpose? Well, my purpose is to get my voice out there because I'm going to create my knowledge and the knowledge I have. For what purpose? My purpose is to be able to enhance my skills so I can now become a motivational speaker and be on front of For what purpose? My purpose is, so if you know it's called chunking it up. So you're asking these very empowering questions to allow you to get to deeper and deeper levels of yourself. What the hell are you doing? What for? Or just also, um, I wanted to add to that. It's just ask yourself, why do I do the things that I do? Just like we said. Why do you do what, things you do? Yeah. What's the pur <laughs> purpose for that? Yeah, exactly. So like with you, with the video, for me was, you know, I wasn't really big on social media. I mean, I, you know, posting my own picture <laughs> on social media, that took a long time and even having short videos of myself. But I did question myself at one point, like, what, why am I even doing this? Well, why do I even do this? until I figured out and realized what the purpose of that is, you know, is to motivate, inspire, and be the influencer that I want to be. And for me to do that is I have to be authentic and show my authentic self to the world. So that's why I do the things that I do. Awesome. Look at that. So you step into a new you. Yes. <laughs> more important keep an open mind the more you're aware of things are happening the more you can learn information is really passed among communication connecting with other people don't judge what you're doing because you just never know their journey what they're doing and why they're doing it who knows right right how to stop a negative self-talk this is the biggest thing i would say is like we discussed earlier is you know, we want to find what's wrong with our life or how we can improve, but we never find what's right. Can't change can't to can. Ah, I just can't do that. Oh, this ain't gonna happen the way I thought. Oh, I just oh oh all oh, this. Oh geez, oh how you talk about I can do this, I can do that. Visualize you actually doing it. And that makes a big difference. I can and can. So person says I can't is right. It's like the person says I can. So nobody's really wrong. Everybody's right. You can't. You really can't. If you can, you can for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue twister almost too. <laughs> Remember that yeah. thoughts and feelings are not always reality. How many times in your life you have run this kind of reel in your mind of everything that can go wrong or really not one thing that can go right. Or you run this reel in your mind all the things that can go wrong and none of that ever plays out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've done it. I've done it several yeah. times. And <laughs> I still everything do I it. feared never came true. When I first I quit my full time it. job, yeah. So think about it. when I first quit my full time job, I was sitting there thinking to myself, oh man, I may not be past 30 days, you know, because when you quit a full time job, you're getting paid every two weeks, once a month, and you guarantee something's coming in. When you're an entrepreneur, you have to work to get paid. That's just what it is. And I mean, no, I have fucking made it past 30 days. <sighs> okay, maybe 60 days, Whew. 90 days. Whew. Whoa, I made it. Six months. Oh my God. Jeez, Jesus, I did it. And then, for you know, I'm up. So, all this fear of not being able to pay my rent, not being able to pay my cell phone bill, or not having money for food, going broke, not having clients, none of what I was visualizing came true. What came true was that I had all the resources inside me already. I didn't know it. Big difference there. Shift your perspective. Right? Shift the angle where you look at something. You look at one way, look at a quarter. We have, you know a quarter has two sides, as a heads and a tails. But if we continue to only focus on the heads, we only see the heads. It's when we flip it over to the side and we actually see totally different perspective of the coin but it's still the same coin nothing changed it's just a different perspective of change yeah 
you can learn to, um, when you talk about shifting, you can learn to turn negative thinking into positive thinking, right? The process is simple, but it does take time and practice. You know why? Because you're creating a new habit. <laughs> it's something that you're not used to, but it's possible and it does work. It does work. It does yes. work. But if you're going through something negative in your life, like you maybe you lost a loved one, you're on transition, don't always think to be positive. You may have to sip those feelings and once you sip those feelings, allow them to be released. Mm -hmm. Thus comes a chunking up of positivity. Yeah. So we always say this, we, we talk ourselves about a lot of different things. But if we heard, heard a best friend or someone new talk himself all negative, we're like, whoa, whoa, stop that. You can do all that. You can do this, you can do this. So if we're going to do that to a friend or somebody else, we should be able to do it to ourselves as well, too. Right. Create a sure. when journal daily. That is crucial. So we're always looking for the milestones in life. Okay. Let's think about a miner. A miner has to sometimes dig 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, to find hit pay dirt or gold, right? So it's not about getting the big milestones in life, it's about what added up to that milestone. You just didn't all of a sudden fall in your lap. So the miner all of a sudden hit 10 feet, he got a bunch of pager. He made the dig further down to actually find it. But along the way, he's getting a little more gold, getting a little more gold, getting a little, another 10 feet, a little more. Oh, if you're not, hit the pay streak, you hit that milestone. And you know, I'm having- small nuggets. Yeah, and also um, having a journal, it can help with um, self-reflection. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it can also help serve a more, maybe more practical purpose. And you can use a journal later on to ask yourself questions and answer them. Like you can go back yeah. to, you can go back to that. For sure. Focus on the power of yet. Yes. Adding the word yet to any of your doubts. Not, so, how, how would you add to your doubt? Like not yet or it's coming yeah, yet? Yeah, so or? yeah. Example, let's say... Um, you don't know how to drive, right? So you have all these doubts now, I, I'm never gonna get there, I don't know how to drive. How about, I don't know how to drive yet. I'll get there mm. once I know how to drive. Um, mm. Let's say speaking a different language, um, give example, let, let's say Spanish, right? I don't know how to speak Spanish yet, but I'm going to learn how to speak Spanish. Those are just a few examples, but yes, adding the word yet to any of your doubts. Mm. That's that's powerful because it makes a difference between going one way or the other way. Oh, I can't right. do that versus I can't do that yet. So it yes. means I may not have what I have now to get there, but I will get there. You will. Because when you stop, I can't do that, you stop. Because you're already doubting yourself, telling yourself you can't do that. But I can't do that yet gives you a chance and a possibility that you will get there and you will be able to do that. Yeah. There's a, a famous bodybuilder I heard like 10, 15 years ago, the YouTube video. And his name is Lee Hanning. And he says, I may not be there now, but trust me, I will get there. And he became yeah. eight times to Olympia and a champion. So it may not be there now. I may not be there now, but I will get there because he has that vision. He says, not yet. Yeah, that's what it is. Not yet. I like that, always say, always saying uh, goes. It's not over to the fat lady sings. I'm not saying discredit you by it's <laughs> overweight, but yeah. that's just a saying I learned when I was a kid. Yeah, I like that. Okay, self discovery. Like you know, I look at the ballerina here. Look at all these images that are people are really stepping into themselves and who they really are. So self discovery, authentic you mantra, and this is probably very crucial. We want to find a lot of things that are wrong. We want to criticize because we don't have what we desire. We're not where we think we should be, not where so-and-so is or whatever the case may be. But it's really important to say these words. I'm worthy, whatever you're worthy of. I am happy. I can have anything I have. I, I can have anything I have and always want it. I will achieve success. Everything I need is within me. I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. that's really really yeah. huge it really is and I think the most powerful one there is <coughs> everything I need is within me I have the power to change my world 
and the world around me. I know that I am good enough to achieve anything. The question is, do you think you're good enough to achieve anything? Yes. Yeah, see, see, believe in yourself. Yes, that's what you have to believe in yourself because otherwise if you don't, then there comes that doubt, right? So you have to believe in it. And I know, and, and that it all comes from within. And that's why the answer is all within. All within, all within. Love it, love it. So you guys should write this down, take a picture of it, take a screenshot, whatever it is, because it helps. I mean, I, I'll show you mine right now. I got a whole post note of my own affirmations that I say before I go to bed, right? I, I want to have these things in my life because uh, I want to go create the life I want. And it's possible. Anything is possible because it ain't over with Thank yet. Me. It exactly my most favorite one that I've been using a lot lately um, that sticks to my head is that I celebrate myself. I've been celebrating myself because I am an amazing person. Awesome. <laughs> I don't care if you think it's conceited or it's being selfish, but I know and I believe that I'm amazing, and so I celebrate myself. That's like another be worthy mantra. Yes. Beautiful. I love it. Love it. And that's, it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong mantra, or right or wrong word to say. As long as it's stated in the positive, use it for yourself. Yeah. As long as it's stated in the positive. It can be like, um, I'll get there soon. Oh, that I don't sounds know. So negative. But, but, that sounds, sounds negative. negative. I'm not there yet. Yeah. Difference. Big difference. I will get there. You know what? Um, another way is to actually, um, and, th and this is also practice is when you get when you get a chance you look at yourself in the mirror look and you know and we talk about being curious and questioning this right look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself who am i who do i want to be you know what i did the other day this is something really huge and this is how you transition positive, positive energy is most of us, have, most of us do not know how to write a self letter. Like you can write an email to somebody else, you can send a text, you can write a note or whatever. But have you ever sat down and just open up your, scratch, open up your Word document, like that's what I did the other day, or a piece of paper and say, dear Ron, or dear Gloria, and just sit there and write three to 400 words of what has really transpired in your life. I did a gratitude letter for myself and it says, dear Ronald, uh, you've been through a lot of your life. You have been through ups and downs. You had kids. You had kids at a young age. I create this wonderful, like five sentence gratitude letter for myself. And what amount of energy was in that letter? And I kept it because, because you got to tell yourself you are worthy. You are powerful. You are magnificent. And you can do anything you want. And if you put it down a piece of paper, it's now energy. It's not tangible. You feel it. And don't tear it up because it means something. That's great. That's yeah. really great. I, I have a YouTube video of that too. <laughs> I did. I read it. There. And, and we can we can tell our audience or our listeners to actually look for that video and, and just look at it. You know, yeah. and and just when you said powerful, gosh, the, what really came up for me right now is like my voice is powerful. I felt oh, that yeah. when you said powerful. Well, the That's biggest a mantra. Thing is everybody right there. has a voice. Everybody has a voice and voice means something. Yeah. Your voices mean something. Because think about it, you tell your you can talk yourself out of out of everything in your life, but if you talk yourself into something, like you talk yourself out of making decisions, but have you thought about talking yourself into making a decision? It's your own voice. Either one. You can talk yourself out of it or talk yourself into it. Yeah, that's true. And I really like the idea of writing a gratitude letter to yourself because that's also one way of really um, of self-discovery. Like yep. what you did was when you go back and you write and you wrote that, it's going back through your past experiences and your past experiences doesn't mean it was a mistake or it was wrong. It's an experience to who you became today. Yeah. All experiences have value. So we always often use, oh, I made a mistake. Well, that's experience that have value because you may not make same same I same process again and you learn something on that so all experiences have value yeah yeah so true and dream big because when you dream big dreams do come true it really does this picture will never get old for me 
I love this picture. It's just, <laughs> when I look at this picture, used in every single seminar, and it's just, it warms your heart. I mean, because if you, if we had the mindset of a kid, not an adult, but as a kid, how much things we can really do? If we just kept the child mindset, because children are constantly learning, asking questions. They don't have the idea of being in a box or don't do this or don't do that. Oh, this is comparison. They don't exist. They just don't know. Like they're not worried about what kind of clothes they wear. If they don't fit, obviously, you know, but all it takes is for now, oh, look at Bob's clothes. They're, they're, they're old. And Bob says, oh, my clothes are old. Oh, look at Bob's shoes. He has his old Nike shoes. Oh, my shoes are old. Then that's where it comes to these walls that get put up. Or you take a test in school, you get a B. Susie got an A. Oh, look at Susie, she got an A. And she gets a pop for getting an A. Oh, I must be dumb because I didn't get an A. So another wall has been saved. But like a kid, they don't have those kind of walls. They don't exist. No. Imagine yourself when you were five, five years old, maybe four or five years old. You know, when you were just, when your kid did not give a care mm-hmm. about anybody, about anyone around you. When you remember, I, I don't know if I could think that far back, but I remember, you know, it's like you having dreams. I want to fly. Mm-hmm. I want to come, come on, astronaut. Uh, yeah, I want to do this and just imagine like this this little kid right here in the picture right now. That's what he's doing. He's he's dreaming and he's envisioning that dream. And it's dreams are possible. You can reach that if you really just yeah. put your mind to it. Yes, if you really put. It's not over with yet. You can do it. You have all the resources inside you. Don't talk yourself into I can't and talk to yourself into I can and don't listen to people around you because they will come into your box and they have you going all different directions but the one where you want to go yeah so just be like this be like the five-year-old kid that you were mm-hmm. dream big because dreams yeah. do come true and everybody yeah. I want to say from humble heart humble spirit thank you for coming and thank you for listening yeah, thank you. Thank you for um, for coming and supporting us and um, and believing in us. Yes, please. And I want to say this is that if you guys want to see my positive letter, go to my YouTube video, Ron Johnson, Life Coach. So Ron, then Johnson, spell like a sound, Life Coach, one word. It says positive letter to self or gratitude letter to self. Look at there. It's on LinkedIn. It's on Facebook. It's on Instagram. And it's on YouTube. So you can find every way to find it. Find it, let it read it. Because it's very important to appreciate ourselves. And that's why I is appreciating where you are. Because unless you're dead, your trajectory can change overnight. This example of a book I read, Atomic Habits, I think that's the right book. You take a flight from, I say, SF to New York, right? One flight. If you just change one degree of that flight, just one degree, as you travel to New York, you end up in. North Carolina, just one degree. So if you just change one degree of your mindset, you can live, so you can land or be in a totally different place than what your trajectory was. Makes a huge one difference. Degree. Yeah, makes a huge difference. So appreciate yourself and love yourself. Yes, love yourself. Love yourself. Yes, yes. And I want to add one thing before we conclude is that if you guys are more curious about uh, how to get this um positive thinking or how to be more in life go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com and click on master class and let's get yourself signed up let's let's figure out what's going on in life and use these small tools to help they're not like overnight you just do this graduate letter and your life changes no it's a perspective yeah. and a spread perspective can be life changes like i said a degree i'm going to new york i just if i just change a degree i can let land a totally different place Yes, check check him out. Follow him. Take his master class because Ron is the man. And you need to take advantage <laughs> of him. He's so smart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love from the bottom of my heart. And thank you for everybody out there for listening, believing in us, and giving us the chance. And we look forward to seeing you again. And another some will be coming for summertime. So stay tuned for that. And it'll be more new shirts too, hopefully. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.